50 crazy music facts everyone should know. At the height of Van Halen's success with Diamond David Lee Roth, Roth had his penis insured with Lloyds of London for $1 million. Since others in the group were getting vital body parts insured, he insisted that Little Elvis ought to be insured as well because he too would be used heavily on tour. Paul McCartney is the only artist ever to reach the top of the UK charts as a solo artist and as part of a duo, trio, quartet, quintet, and a musical ensemble. The Beatles song, You Know My Name, Look Up the Number, on the Let It Be album, features a saxophone part played by Brian Jones of the Rolling Stones. Frank Zappa and his friends were once confronted at his home by a fan brandishing a gun. Frank took him to the pond outside and invented a ceremony where everyone had to throw something in it. The fan threw in his gun. You know what they say, necessity is the mother of invention. The double fantasy album that John Lennon signed for his killer Mark Chapman before his death was put up for auction in 2020 and ended up selling for $900,000. Trent Reznor felt his song, A Warm Place, was too good to be his own work. After the song had been released, he was horrified to discover that he had indeed copied the melody from a piece by David Bowie called Crystal Japan, written for a Japanese gin advert. Bowie found this hilarious. Billy Joel's first studio album, Cold Spring Harbor, was produced with an error that made all of the songs slightly too fast, causing Joel's voice to sound unnaturally high, which he later compared to the Bee Gees and Alvin and the Chipmunks. Joel hated the release and it cost Artie Rip, the producer, his friendship with him. Whilst on tour, Axl Rose used to demand square-shaped melons before he performed on stage, claiming they were essential to his performance and something he sha na 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 needs, needs. The song Midnight Special, first recorded by Lead Belly, is about a steam locomotive that used to pass the Louisiana state prison and its light would shine into the cells. Prisoners developed a superstition that having the light shine on you would bring fortune and freedom. Status Quo's version of Rockin' All Over the World, released in 1977, was actually written by John Fogarty, formerly of Creedence Clearwater Revival, released on his second solo album in 1975. Greg Lake of Emerson, Lake and Palmer and King Crimson wrote his first song, Lucky Man, at the age of 12. Twelve years later in 1970, it charted in multiple countries countries and is still in heavy rotation on classic rock stations today. Neil Young was once sued by his record label for $3.3 million for recording an album that was musically uncharacteristic of his previous recordings. To be fair, it was a terrible album, and I wanted to sue him after listening to it too. In 1973, there was a concert in Watkins Glen, New York called Summer Jam, which featured the Grateful Dead and the Allman Brothers Band. There was a single fatality by a skydiver who accidentally blew himself up with a stick of dynamite. Otis Redding, the singer behind Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, got his big break when he was hired as a driver to take a friend to a recording studio for $10. After his friend was done, Otis asked to do a recording of his own, and his record ended up becoming a big hit. Lemmy from Motorhead once appeared in an adult film starring John Wayne Bobbitt, whose penis was amputated by his wife, but surgically reattached. Ron Jeremy said Lemmy contributed the song Under the Knife to the film's soundtrack. The opening guitar riff in Chuck Berry's iconic Johnny B. Good was copied from Ain't That Just Like a Woman, a song recorded 12 years earlier in 1946 by Louis Jordan. The Koopalings from the Super Mario universe were named after rock stars. Iggy after Iggy Pop, Larry after Larry Mullen, Wendy after Wendon O. Williams, Roy after Roy Orbison, and Lemmy after Lemmy Kilmister. There's also Ludwig named after Ludwig van Beethoven, who was a rock star of his time too. Morrissey, a vegetarian, ordered all bags to be checked for meat on one of his concerts in 2011. In 1985, while promoting the album Meat is Murder, he walked off stage after a sausage was thrown at his direction. Rainbow was formed by former Deep Purple guitarist Richie Blackmore and vocalist Ronnie James Dio from ELF. Ronnie would eventually leave the band to join Black Sabbath, only to go solo after a couple of years and be replaced by Ian Gillen, former vocalist of Deep Purple. The 80s song, And She Was, by Talking Heads, was written about a girl on acid, outside of a Yoo-Hoo chocolate drink factory. Morrissey once canceled a show because his management felt that the amount of security guards was insufficient, even though it was double what they had hired for a recent Slayer concert. Cary Grant's girlfriend once convinced him to see Alice Cooper in concert. On the ride home, when she asked him what he thought of it, he said, Remember I told you about the time I took LSD in my doctor's office and shat all over his rug and floor? Well, now I know how that poor doctor felt. 
Ray Burton, the father of Cliff Burton, donated the royalties he received from his son's work in Metallica to a music scholarship program at Cliff's old high school. David Box, a near-identical Buddy Holly sound-alike, joined the Crickets as lead vocalist after Holly's death. He died in a plane crash four years later. Whilst on tour, Madonna would demand a brand new toilet seat at every concert she played. The seat had to be with an unbroken seal, you know, so it could be touched for the very first time. In 1975, at the peak of his cocaine addiction while living in Los Angeles, David Bowie surrounded himself with burning black candles and Egyptian artifacts. He believed bodies floated past his window and that the Rolling Stones sent him secret messages. Convinced that Jimmy Page, who owned Aleister Crowley's former home, was allied with witches plotting against him, Bowie stored his urine in the fridge to keep it safe from them. In a 2018 interview, Graham Nash of The Hollies and Crosby, Stills and Nash recalled playing the board game Risk with Jimi Hendrix, noting that Hendrix was unbeatable, especially when on acid. In 1976, before going to a show, Keith Richards received news that his three-month-old son had died from SIDS. He made the choice to perform that night regardless, but was criticized for doing so. He later stated that if he hadn't done the show that night, he would probably not be alive today. When the federal government declared the opioid crisis a state of emergency, Prince's painkiller prescription was cut off, causing severe withdrawal and insomnia for two weeks. Four hours before his death, he was photographed leaving a Walgreens after being denied his prescription. Desperate, he bought painkillers from a street dealer, not knowing they were laced with fentanyl. He was later found dead in an elevator at his Paisley Park home. In 1987, when David Bowie performed Heroes near the Reichstag in West Berlin, a massive crowd gathered on the eastern side to hear him perform from over the wall. The performance is considered to be a catalyst to the fall of the Berlin Wall. Prior to their music careers, Sid Vicious and Johnny Rotten would busk on the streets of London. Johnny would sing and occasionally play the violin while Sid played a tambourine or guitar. They would play Alice Cooper covers, and people gave them money to stop. Rock and roll pioneer Buddy Holly proposed to his wife, Maria, five hours after their first date, and they were married within two months. Maria was pregnant when Holly died in a plane crash six months later. She had a miscarriage the day after and didn't attend the funeral. Ozzy Osbourne from Black Sabbath once fell asleep during a driving test, waking up to a note saying, you have failed. He passed in 2009, age 60, on his 19th attempt. Keith Moon, after having a hotel manager ask him to turn down his cassette of the Who he was using to practice to, proceeded to blow up a toilet with dynamite. He then said to the manager, that dear boy was noise, turned the cassette player back on and said, this is the who. The 1975 film Listomania, about the hysteria surrounding 19th century composer Franz Liszt, featured the who's Roger Daltrey as Liszt and as the god Thor, and Ringo Starr as the Pope, more proof that the 1970s were just one long acid trip.